Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I haven't uploaded for two weeks. Mostly I got caught up with the Easter holidays and family life, but we are back on track. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to construct a polygon given the length of a side and using a semicircle. The video will be played at one, at one and a half times the normal speed. So feel free to slow it down if you don't understand something. The speed was just to shorten the video and to make the redundancy a little more bearable. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a pentagon, that's five sides, and a hexagon, that's six sides. In each case, the length of each side will be 500 millimeters. So we begin by drawing a line 1,000 millimeters, that's twice the length, and we're going to draw a semicircle on that line. Now what we want to do is, using the calculator, divide 180 degrees by 5 and you end up with an angle of 36. For those of us who do not know, the angle at on a point at a point on a straight line, that angle is 180 degrees. So we draw, we draw our first line, excuse me, <clears throat> at an angle of 36 degrees. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to measure the open end of the angle to see what the length of it is. All right, I'm actually going to draw a short arc here. And the, and um, using the radius of this arc right and you get the radius by double clicking so you see it's 309.02 millimeters i'm just gonna repeatedly draw arcs around the semicircle with that same radius All right so this is where the redundancy comes in a bit Also, I did not want to skip anything out. I wanted you to see exactly how I did it. And here we have it. So we draw first arc, the radius through nine, as you can see. And you continue going around, going around the semicircle until you get to the end of this of the semicircle. Now you would see that I had a, a, a rogue arc a while ago. It's something that I hate about AutoCAD, but when you enter the arc command, you have to, after you enter the command, you have to press C and then they'll be like, oh, okay. So the next point you click, that's the center of your arc. Okay, gotcha. If you do not do that, then they will assume that the next point you click is the end of your arc and it just looks super weird. And here you can see that I'm doing it again, All right? As I said earlier, feel free to slow down the video if it's moving too quickly for you. So we have all of our points going around our semicircle. And um, this is exactly what we need. Now we're going to draw another line to the second mark along the circumference of our semicircle and whether you're doing a pentagon hexagon or whatever this second line that i've drawn that line is actually a part of your polygon that is one of the sides of your polygon All right so we're gonna bisect the two sides that we have so the first side being one half of, of the baseline of our semicircle and the second side being this line that we just drew here that I said was a part of our polygon. So we bisect these two lines and wherever the two bisecting lines intersect that is the center Right. Just making sure that the line is correct. Good. 
So wherever these two lines intersect, that will be the center of the circle. And that circle can be, that circle basically circumscribes our polygon, whether it's a pentagon, hexagon, or whatever it is. All right, so that's the center of the circle and you extend it to the end of one of your sides and there you can see the circle is circumscribing our pentagon now what you do now is very simple the length of each side is 500 millimeters so you just get your compass out whatever you want to use and you draw some line some arcs with a radius of 500 and once you have done that you are free to now connect the dots and you can see that it actually it will actually end up with the form of a regular pentagon all right now everything is in construction lines right now so it looks pretty confusing so I'm just gonna change the layers really quickly so that our pentagon can stand out and I'm gonna trim the baseline so that you see our pentagon in its true true beauty All right so I'm just gonna take off the construction line layer so the only thing that you see now is the pentagon and there you have it all right as I said if the speed of the video is too fast for you, feel free to slow it down and go over the steps. So now we're gonna do another polygon. This time we'll do a hexagon. I'm gonna talk less this time. Um, I want you to follow what's going on. So we have our base, 1000. The steps are the same as with the pentagon, but it's just the number of sides now is different. So we have our first line. Now we're gonna measure the open end of the angle. AutoCAD decided to give me some trouble here. That's why, that's why you saw my cursor moving and nothing was happening. All right, so we have our radius. Right, so the, these steps should now should at least look or seem familiar to you now because they are the same steps from the they're the same steps from the pentagon and of course I made the arc error again Okay, so what you will find is that you don't necessarily have to go around the entire semicircle and divide it up. You really just need the first two um, dividing lines, basically. All right, so now we're gonna bisect our two sides. So the second, the second 30 degree line that we draw is actually a part of our hexagon and 
Likewise, when we did the Pentagon, the second 36 degree line that we drew, that was also a part of our Pentagon. And this half of our baseline is also, you guessed it, it's a part of our hexagon. All right, so we're gonna bisect it just as we did with the pentagon. Just gonna extend these lines so that they intersect. Extend the bisecting lines. And this is our circle that circumscribes the hexagon. Once you get to this point, you're, you're pretty much almost finished. All right, so I'm gonna go around the circle now, drawing arcs whose radii, well, they, they all have the same radius, really. It's 500 millimeters. Good. So here we simply we simply draw in the remaining sides of our hexagon. Once we have done this, right, once we have done this, the next step would simply be to change the layer so that it stands out and so that everyone can see our hexagon. Right, so this is another method for constructing a polygon. Um, this will be attached to the polygon playlist. Again, feel free to slow down the video and view it as many times as you like. And oh yes, we're gonna take off the layer. And as always, if you have learned anything from this video, or maybe it reassured something that you already knew, please like and subscribe if you haven't already.